that is kind of something... You know, I like action games, I like fighters, I like things like this. My uncle... My uncle Bill, who is 65 and still play or 64 and still plays games, you know, he he has said more than uh, more than once that, you know, he he can tell that he, you know, his reflexes are really not what they were when he started playing games, probably in his 30s. He was, of course, you know, he was younger than I am now when he ba basically gave me Mega Man, the original for the NES, and said. Yeah, I can't do this, so... You know. He, of course, did not have the advantage, if you want to call it that, of having trained in video games since he was three. Which I did. My mom worked for a local, like, little candle shop type thing. And... They had a Ms. Pac-Man machine. And while she, you know, was there doing, you know, running some errands and stuff... Oh, yeah, I remember this one. Um, the owner of the shop just sat me in front of the Ms. Pac-Man machine, put like 20 bucks worth of quarters in it, and I was happy as a clam for hours and hours. So, ow, not quite dead. Getting there. Get those arrows hit. I should have thrown it the other way, but that worked. Wah. Damn. Why didn't anybody tell me this was an archery range instead of a you know, room in Rogue Legacy. But yes, no. Okay, you turned around too fast, but yeah, the damage against those is based on your position, not what direction they are hit from, which is kind of weird. But, but yeah, Ms. Pac-Man, first game I played, still love it. Still, if there's nothing else I can think of to play at a given time, I'm gonna die. I will pick up one of those. Ms. Pac-Man or Galaga. That. I'm going to run out of MP before I can clear this room, but I'm getting down low enough that... Okay, I can take him out in one hit, so if I can avoid the shots, I've got this. Oh yes, and uh, Istvan and Angelique Damon, who are both now playing this, told me that they found out what it is that uh, Tunnel Vision does exactly. You see how when I'm off the screen, these projectiles, you get little bubbles showing you where they are approximately? Characters with tunnel vision don't get those. So, that is that is what that does. Okay, this is bad. Stab. Not bad. Wahaha. Die, please. Wish I were short enough to sneak under there, but can't have everything. Oh. MP. MP is not bad. HP would be better. And yes, since I'm talking about random crap today, and almost dying because somebody dropped a rock on me, it was a big rock, but the origin of the term hit points and why... They're not health points or life points or anything like that. HP comes from... Okay, Dungeons and Dragons, of course, like a lot of, you know, video gaming... Oh, for God's sake. RPGs. Dungeons and Dragons inspired a lot of video gaming RPGs. And here's the thing about what... Hmm. That's not a bad combo. And... The thing about what inspired Dungeons & Dragons is that a lot of the rules came from the w war games that the creators of the system were playing before they uh, created D&D. Uh, &D. Um, d d came a as an offshoot of a fantasy, of a medieval and fantasy uh, war game named Chainmail. Um, hmm... One of those. One of those. That looks good. Chainmail and Chainmail borrowed some of its rules from some of the older war games that they had played, um, including naval war games. 
So that is why in the old Dungeons and Dragons, armor class went down because it's like uh, because your battleship had second class armor, third class armor, first class armor, etc. So that's why we had ridiculous things like you know negative class armor because we were you know modifying a system designed for battleships. Um, that, and of course that is why hit points instead of health or life or whatever. You know, hits... The uh, ships had so many hit points they could take so many, you know, direct hits before sinking. So, that... That is why... That is why RPG terminology is kind of weird. Because... The board gamers who created it just imported whatever they wanted from wherever they liked. And the terminology stuck because it was familiar to them. I th think that I used to have another example of a term in RPGs taken from wargaming, but uh, nothing that comes to mind at the moment, so... But those were the two big ones. Do I want to go to the Land of Darkness? Well, money g uh, gain is quick there, so sure. Oh yeah, I have giant chakrams, don't I? Let's try that. That sounds like fun. Winner! Okay. Ow. Um. Nice. Okay, that is a real treasure chest. Mine. So far, looking like a worthwhile trip, because I've got almost enough to make another purchase now. Okay, well, we'll do it the hard way. Yeah, the stuff here's dropping enough money, it was really very much worth it to do it this way. And, despite not having a double jump, I'm holding up pretty well, so... Yeah, Iron Maiden's just decorative. They do not hurt you like they would in Castlevania. For this, I am grateful. And I get a big pile of money. Now, watch out. But yeah, like I said, since I'm just doing cash runs here, this actually, this setup is working fairly well. Let's see if it works. Yes, it does. I just have to dodge. I just got a hit point from uh, back from something, so I'm kind of assuming that uh, somebody... One of the little spike thi uh, bouncy spike things in the room probably bounced itself out. Ah, good. It stopped at the edge of the platform. That makes life easy. A lot of HP back. Good. Oh, hi. Well, I'm taking this chest before we do anything else, because if I die, I want to die rich. Yeah. Spell swords. Spell swords magic is actually serving me very well in here, so. That takes me back into a room I've already been in. Let's go this way now. There's no this way. Only Zul. Okay. Um. In the words of the prophets, lol, nope. Oh, haven't been down here. Let's go. This again? 
Nothing. I'm not sure what that was supposed to be. Empty helmet? Chamber pot? Something. Maybe both. Kind of a rough room. To the surprise of none. None whatsoever. Okay. Good. Got him. Got it. I like how I bounced it up into that. That was not intentional, but I gotta remember to do that. Okay. Wahaha. Oh well, grab the treasure, get ready to dodge and leave. I suppose dodge and weave. Either one. Got him. Yeah, any just like the old Castlevania boomerangs, anything you can get right at the end of your arc, you're gonna do tremendously good damage to. Gotcha. No, I don't. I walked right into your face. Oops. Okay, one more and then I'll call it for today and hope that's enough to get me at least 3-4 days of this. Dragon with ADHD and OCD. That sounds pretty good. Should be interesting, if nothing else. Now, affordable upgrades. Pretty good run. Um, wish I could get mana cost down, but I didn't get quite that much. Invulnerability time up. Could get another point one seconds. Could get downstrike damage up, which isn't going to help this character very much. Um, um, I kind of want to get that just because it's one of the expensive ones and it's the first time all of the whole session I have gotten enough money to get one of the expensive ones. So, that's what I'll do. Now, I don't even... I don't need any of my mobility runes this time. But I'm... Oh, the dash rune I can use, so that's okay. That's good. Mm-hmm. Of course... I think I'm gonna set him up for as many balance runes as I can, and that's it. Yeah, that's about all I can do for that, so... And I'll stick... Wait, wait. There we go. So that should give me, like, three... Three HP and MP back per kill. Plus my dash. Plus a little bit of extra money. 